close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. Know when the breath is coming in, know when it's going out, and try to observe whether it's comfortable or not. If it's not comfortable, you can change it. But pay careful attention to it, because it's only when you pay careful attention to it that you know when it's really good for you and when it's not. If you just give it a passing glance, you don't know. So watch the breath very carefully and see what can be done to make it more and more comfortable. Make it longer or shorter, heavier, lighter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. Try different ways of breathing and learn how to judge what's right for the body right now. Give it your full attention. When you meditate, you're basically you're bowing down to your mind. You're showing respect for the fact that the mind is capable of a lot of good things. And you don't want it to go bowing down to greed, aversion, and delusion. You've noticed we do a lot of bowing here at the monastery. That's to remind ourselves that there are, have been people in the past who've taught us how to find a true happiness that doesn't cause any harm to anybody. And that's something worthy of respect. But not just by bowing down to it. You think about what you're doing and saying and thinking, why you're doing it, why you're saying it, why you're thinking it. Remember that every time you bow down to greed, aversion, and illusion, you're bowing down to the wrong things in the mind. So bow down to your mindfulness instead. Bow down to your discernment instead. And this is a way you can show respect for the Dharma as you go through life. As we do have this potential within us, we can find a happiness that's totally harmless. And in finding it, we do good things. We're generous. We're virtuous. Try to keep the mind under control. All the things which are worthy of respect. You look at the world around us and see what happens when people don't practice these things. This is why there's so little respect going around. But if we behave in a way that's worthy of respect, okay, when, whether people realize it or not, we know that we can respect ourselves. We're respecting the good side of the mind. We're bowing down to the right people inside the mind. So make sure that you bow down to the good things. Bow down to your goodwill. Bow down to your compassion. Bow down to your discernment, concentration, your virtue. All these things are worthy of respecting. You want to respect them every time you're making a decision as to what to do and say and think. Because if you give in to anger, you're bowing down to anger. And is this something you want to bow down to? When you're giving in to lust, when you're giving in to greed, when you're giving in to jealousy, just think of it. You're bowing down to these things. And a lot of us do this carelessly without even thinking, without even realizing what we're doing. Which means that, you, again, you have to pay careful attention to what you're doing. This is why meditation is an important part of training the mind. It teaches you to pay careful attention to what you're doing right now, right now, right now. And that way you can make better decisions. You carry that same quality of being attentive to what you're doing. You carry that into your life. Your life becomes a better life. So bow down to the right people in mind, in your mind. Then you find that the mind will become worthy of respect.